Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Larson. If you have prostate issues or if you want to prevent prostate issues, we posted a couple interesting uh, articles this week that will give you some details about uh, the prostate itself and then some good uh, uh, natural support for um, healthy prostate function. So first of all, the prostate gland is a little gland that's uh, below the bladder and it, it produces part of the, the seminal fluid during male ejaculation and uh, the prostate gland is uh, very important for that function. But um, uh, what happens is if the prostate gland swells up, uh, the urethra, which is the tube that carries urine from the bladder out of the body, uh, the prostate gland could put uh, pressure on the urethra and it could inhibit the normal flow of urine. Also, there could be pain and pressure and other things that happen with um, swollen prostates. So, um, but there are some really great natural therapies uh, for prostate issues. Um, there's a product that we have called Prostate Elements. And Prostate Elements has a whole bunch of ingredients in it that are all well known to help support uh, prostate tissue. Probably one of the most famous ones is Sal Palmetto. Sal Palmetto, um, you find that in a lot of different prostate formulas. Uh, sometimes you don't find it in quite the dosage that's necessary to be therapeutic. So you'll find that in this product that it has the right dosage of salt palmetto. But salt palmetto does a few things, but one of the most interesting things that it does is it helps to uh, block an enzyme that converts testosterone into DHT or dehydrotestosterone, which in, uh, in, in elevated amounts is unhealthy for the prostate. So it blocks that enzyme, which could uh, contribute to swelling of the prostate. Uh, that's one aspect. Uh, another one is that uh, sometimes what happens is t testosterone is converted into estrogen in men. A little bit of estrogen is okay for men, but too much estrogen could be proliferative or uh, uh, swelling to the prostate gland. And so we want to minimize... Uh, the negative effects of estrogen in, in men. And so as estrogen breaks down, it can break down into different metabolites. Some of those estrogen metabolites are healthy and normal. Some metabolites are unhealthy and proliferative and carcinogenic. And there's a nutrient in uh, prostate elements called I3C or indole 3 carbonyl It comes from uh, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower and so, so forth. So if you take this in a concentrated uh, supplement, it'll help to ensure and promote the positive and healthy breakdown of estrogen, which is very important uh, for the prostate gland. Um, there's another nutrient or botanical in uh, prostate elements called pygium. Pygium is, is very well known to be sort of a, a male tonic herb. Not only is it good for the prostate gland and it helps to improve uh, uh, urinary flow and decrease uh, prostate issues, but it also uh, shows some promise for infertility and impotence in men. So, uh, so there's pygium in the product. Also, there's uh, a flower pollen extract. Um, we use a, a patented form called Graminex, and Graminex has also been shown to improve uh, the flow of urine uh, for people with uh, prostate uh, issues. Also, there's some nutrients like uh, zinc and boron, which have been shown to be very abundant and necessary uh, for the prostate gland. Um, and then also very powerful antioxidants and anti-inflammatories like green tea extract and curcumin. Uh, curcumin is unique because it does three things very well. It's an antioxidant, it helps to support the immune system, and it's anti-inflammatory. And there's very few uh, natural remedies that do all three of those things as good as curcumin does. Also, there's a nutrient called uh, beta-cetosterol. Beta-cetosterol has, has uh, a long history of benefit for uh, not only uh, the prostate, but also for uh, cardiovascular issues. Um, uh, and a lot of men know about a nutrient called lycopenes. Lycopenes are found in uh, tomatoes, especially cooked tomatoes. But in a supplement form, it's been shown to be a very, very powerful antioxidant that seems to have an affinity for the prostate gland. So 
those are just a few um, uh, things that are that are in uh, prostate elements and I hope that's helpful and if you have any prostate issues or you want to prevent prostate issues you may want to consider that product thank you